Hi everyone, I'm Eileen with Raycraft Books, and this is Raycraft Books Storytime. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you Little Coco Bear and His Socks by Qixing Zhang and illustrated by Kayan Zhu. Now, I love this book because I love socks, but that's not the only thing I love to collect. I love bookmarks, especially the ones that have a code on the back where you can scan with your phone and it links you to lots of other fun stuff. Plus, it keeps my place in my book so I remember where I left off when I go back to read. What do you like to collect? And what if it suddenly disappeared? Let's see what happened to little Coco Bear and his socks. Let's get started. Here we go. Little Coco Bear loved socks. Striped socks, polka dot socks, socks with hearts. Coco Bear loved them all. Socks, 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 sang Coco Bear. Socks are what I like to wear. Red socks, blue socks, I don't care. Do you like my brand new pair? Little Coco Bear spent all his time thinking about socks, looking at socks, and trying on socks. He was so busy with his socks that he didn't have any time left to make friends. But there was one thing Coco Bear didn't like about his socks. He didn't like washing them. So after he wore a pair of socks, little Coco Bear would toss them under his bed. After a while, there was a big pile of dirty, stinky socks under his bed. Then one morning, Coco Bear woke up to find that he didn't have a single clean pair of socks to wear. There was no getting around it. His socks had to be washed. Little Coco Bear put all his socks in a basket and carried them down to the river. Dirty socks, dirty socks everywhere. Not a single sock to wear. Time to wash them, Coco Bear. When he was done washing them, Coco Bear hung up his socks to dry. All that work had made him very tired. He lay down under a tree and fell fast asleep. While Coco Bear slept, a friendly badger passed by. Look, she said to herself, this little bear is selling socks. I don't want to wake him up, but I do need socks. I will take some and pay with the cookies I baked this morning. So the badger took a few pair of socks and left behind her delicious cookies. Coco Bear slept on. A while later, a cheerful chimpanzee wandered by. Oh, look at that, said the chimpanzee. This little bear is selling socks. I don't want to wake him, but I do need socks. I'll take some and leave my fresh apples. So the chimp took a pair of socks and left his crisp, juicy apples for Coco Bear. Little Coco Bear snoozed on. Soon, an artist passed by. How beautiful, the artist said. These socks are like a works of art. I don't want to wake him, but I do need socks. I'll take some and paint his picture as my payment. So the artist painted a picture of little Coco Bear and left it next to the cookies and the apples. Then he went away, taking two pairs of socks with him. Soon, all the animals in the forest heard that a sleeping bear was selling cheerful, colorful socks. Everyone rushed to get a pair or two. They all left behind something special 
for Cocoa Bear. Later that afternoon, Coco Bear woke up. He opened his eyes. He looked up and down. He looked all around. Where were his socks? Only two pairs of socks were left on the line. Where were his polka dot socks? Where were his hard socks? Little Coco Bear wanted to cry. But then he noticed all the wonderful gifts. Coco Bear packed the two pairs of socks in his basket along with all the gifts and headed back home. Now that Coco Bear had only two pairs of socks, he had to wash them at the river almost every day, but he didn't mind. He no longer hated washing socks. Instead, he enjoyed being at the river and talking to the animals he met. He made many new friends. Little Coco Bear invited his new friends to come over. He was proud of his house now that they were, there weren't any smelly socks under his bed. Happy, happy Coco Bear. Now he has clean socks to wear. He's got tasty snacks to share and plenty of good friends who care. Thank you so much for joining us. And I hope you love this story. Think about things you'd like to collect. Make a list of them, share them. Visit us at www.raycraftbooks.com for more stories that you might like us to read and share that with us too. Also, don't forget we have a Raycraft YouTube channel where you can see all the stories you might have missed. Join us again soon. Bye-bye.